Dodge Charger Daytona EV pricing announced. It ain't cheap, updated. Hey EV lovers, welcome to EVpedia, your ultimate hub for electric vehicles. If you're as excited about EVs as we are, hit that subscribe button, give us a like, and drop a comment below. And if you want to help us bring even more amazing content, consider giving us a super thanks. Going electric isn't cheap, but will the Mopar faithful show up for this one? I don't envy the marketing team at Dodge. Getting owners of any popular model to go fully electric can be a tough proposition. Cars like the Volvo EX90 and Porsche Macung seem promising, but not every loyalist is going to be fully on board with an EV future quite yet. Arguably no automaker has a tougher task than Dodge, which will soon aim to sell some of the most hardcore, gas-crazed, V8, loving American gearheads on electric power when the Dodge Charger Daytona gets an electric option. And Dodge may end up having to sell the Mopar Faithful on paying quite a bit more than they have for these cars in the past. A newly reported price leak over at Mopar Insiders, originally sourced from YouTube's Butter to Insider, claims that the new Charger Daytona EV models could cost some $15,000 more than their outgoing Hemi V8-powered counterparts. And while the EVs do represent an extremely impressive performance bump over the gas cars, they could now end up ceasing to be the affordable every-person muscle cars they are now. The official pricing of the Charger Daytona EV sedan and coupe haven't been announced yet. But this reported leak claims that the Launch Edition Daytona r T Configuration 1 could start around $68,570. Meanwhile, upgrading to the Daytona Scat Pack could set you back $82,170. That's a big jump over the current V8 cars. Right now, you could get a Challenger r T starting at around $42,000. Upgrade to a Scat Pack with more power and better options for $50,680 or score a 797 horsepower SRT Hellcat Red Eye Jailbreak starting at $82,895. As a side note, I had no idea the names of these things had become so absurd. Red Eye Jailbreak. What a time to be alive. But as with all things EVs, there are some caveats here. First and foremost, these are almost assuredly just launch edition prices for the electric charger. Like the new Jeep Wagoneer S, it's sure to debut some more loaded, collector's item-style packages at launch before cheaper models inevitably trickle out. I fully expect prices to go up and down as Dodge finds ways to offer the new Charger at better prices, as well as more extreme ones. Additionally, Dodge is sure to make the performance argument with these cars, whether the V8 superfans want to hear it or not. Designed to surpass the legendary V8 performance, the new Charger Daytona EV has 670 horsepower out of the gate and is expected to hit 60 miles per hour in just 3.3 seconds in scat pack form. If so, that's a full ticker quicker than the aforementioned Hellcat Red Eye Jailbreak, no doubt thanks to the traction advantage since it's dual motor all wheel drive. In all honestly, and I'm clearly biased here, the electric Charger Daytona seems pretty badass. It looks excellent in coupe and sedan form, has some interesting gimmicks like a simulated exhaust sound, and promises a very decent 317 mile range from its 100.5 kilowatt hour gross. 93.4 kilowatt hour net battery pack. The more powerful scat pack should do 260 miles on a full charge. Honestly, it all sounds quite a bit more interesting and compelling than the version with the forthcoming twin turbo inline six. If people wanted a BMW, they'd get a BMW, right? But it's going to be up to Dodge to sell its fans on what an EV can do. With any luck, it'll start at the top and then work its way down to lots more everyday customers. We reached out to Dodge for confirmation and we'll update if we hear back. Asterisk update. The official pricing has been released. Those details are listed below. Dodge just confirmed pricing for the Charger Daytona EV. The 2024 Charger Daytona R slash T will start at $61,950, while the Scat Pack will cost $75,185. The Scat Pack comes with a standard track package that includes Brembo fixed piston brakes, adaptive dampers, and upgraded seats. Option packages include the $4,995 plus group and a sun and sound package for $2,495. The Charger Daytona R slash T will come standard with the direct connection stage one upgrade package. This version puts out 496 horsepower and 404 pound-feet of torque the scat pack will get a stage two package with 670 horsepower and 627 LBFT. There may be a cheaper base version without the direct connection stage one upgrade package offered later on. Both trims will qualify for a $7,500 tax credit when leased, 
but it seems unlikely that the credit will be available if the vehicle is purchased. That's it for today's episode of EVpedia. If you had fun, subscribe, like, and share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to give us a super thanks to support our channel. Thanks for watching and stay charged. Until next time, keep it electric.